Let's have a quick chat about the Challenge Cup quarterfinals that happened on the weekend. So first up, we had Scarlet 32, Clermont 30. So a couple of very tries from Scarlet's half penny and Costello scoring. Then Clermont respond with two tries of their own to tie it up. Simone and Raka. Simone actually gets sent off four minutes after his try. Scarlet's then they get a third before half time through Williams, but Clermont hit back in the second half and they are leading 30 points to 22 with 50 minutes left. Then we have a penalty and a try with five minutes to go from Combeer ties the whole game up. Costlow then with a conversion to win it, he nails it. Clermont, you know, they're a team that take Europe seriously. And, you know, would have seen this as a chance to get some silverware this year. You know, they're not like a lot of French teams that we see who would maybe look at this and think, ah, we don't really want to be in this competition. We'll send, you know, the second 23 or whatever. But yeah, they took it seriously. Great effort for them with, you know, 14 for so long during the game. Scarlet's still finding form at the end of the season and the comeback was a reflection of that. Next time we had Toulon 48, Lyon 23. So this was a repeat of last year's final, which Lyon won. They have three first half tries from Toulon. They're leading 22-6 at half time. They then extend the lead to 34-9 before Lyon get their first try. And then by the time Arnold gets Leon's second try. It's all over. Seven tries and all for Toulon. Leon never really in the game and would have wanted to put up a better performance in defense of the title. Last year's final defeat avenge for Toulon and they are the favorites to win the competition outright. Next time we have Benetton 27, card 23. So Teddy Williams, yellow card allowed Benetton to establish an early lead. Smith goes over while they've got the extra man. Young's try, though, helps Cardiff stay in touch. 13-10 at halftime. Cardiff then in front early in the second half. A Grady try, and they lead 20 points 13. Lamoureux's try gets converted, and we're tied up again. Priestland then uh, puts Cardiff back ahead. From the T, 23 to 20. Then a Watson try with about 10 minutes to go proved to be the winning score. He actually juggled with the ball before grounding. It's a massive win for Benetton, who, you know, they've really improved over the last couple of seasons. Cardiff falling just short on the day. The final quarter final then was Glasgow 31, Lions 21. So a couple of first half tries. Uh, Dempsey and Doby for Glasgow, they lead 14-0. Lions did kind of work their way back into the game towards the end of the half, but weren't able to put any points on the board. But just after halftime, Nohamba scores and then converts his own try as well. It gives them some hope. But Sander Fagerson then restores the Glasgow margin within five minutes with a try of his own. A horn try then gets lines back within seven points. And, you know, it was fairly kind of close for most of the game from there, but that is as close as lines actually get. Glasgow, they stretch away in, you know, towards the end of the game. And lines, you know, it looked like they might have been able to stage a comeback, but it was Glasgow that get the scores. And then lines get a late try as well, but at that stage the game was gone for them. Lions, so they can be proud of their run in the competition in their debut season. I think all of the South African sides did really well, you know, for a first year in European competition, and they all made um, the knockout stages as well. So you know, got to be happy with that. Glasgow. Um, you know, in very good form, but they were made to work for this win.
The first semi final is Scarlets versus Glasgow. It's a Parky Scarlets in Glenetley. It's on Saturday, the 29th of April. Scarlets, they got home advantage in this one, but I think they're going to have to continue the improvement they've shown in the second half of the season if they're going to win this one. Glasgow, they're probably the form team in the ERC, apart from Lancer at the moment. If they can handle the pressure of the occasion, they should make that final. Second semi-final then is Toulon versus Benetton. It's in the Stade Felix Mayall in Toulon. It's on Sunday the 30th of April. Benetton, they won the Rainbow Cup during COVID a couple of years ago. But I think winning this competition would definitely top that. They haven't been the best on the road this season. So that's something they're going to have to get over for this one if they're going to have any chance of making the final. Toulon, their last year's runners-up, and they're looking to go one better. They're the favourites for the competition as a whole, and it should have too much for Benetton in that one. We've got Heineken Cup stats coming tomorrow, so look out for that. On Friday, then, we have the build-up for the URC and the Women's Six Nations as well.